I need I need my new space pets. I had fish in the last game and a space hamster. Now we need a pie jack. Frames! Frames! Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jav. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. Are you my new pilot? I'll be piloting the Tempest at ah. your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. Oh, that's helpful. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It certainly sounds it like optimized it. optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. This is nothing. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Oh, yeah. I never planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Oh, they are just making me leave. No, my Pijack's back there. No! Stop, you maniacs! Bastards. Every one of them are bastards. I guess I'll just have to pick up the next time we head back to the Nexus. Departure vector verified, Tempest. I'm not gonna go back just to pick up a pie jack. I just kind of wish I'd gone it before we left. Bastards. Every one of them. Two Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Is this supposed to be the bridge view? What is that? System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. Nito. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Let's scan it then. Looks like the space mining has returned. For better or for worse. Jesus, please, not so fast on the asteroid incoming. Oh my god. Maniacs, every one of you. Nice. System view. Let's get scanning. Oh, is it gonna do this cutscene every time I change between planets? Oh, this may get lame. Sixty-four years. Gas giants. Freeze. It's seen pet visitors. Interesting. Nothing to scan there. All right. System view. 
H276. Yeah, this is gonna get old, I have a feeling. <sighs> I mean, it's neat looking, but it's just like, I miss the... I guess it really doesn't take that much longer than moving the Normandy from one planet to another, come to think of it. Anomaly on sensors. Forward existence. Surface temperature minus 77. It's got phosgen gas. Primitive chlorine based life. Probe away. Scanning's a lot faster as well. Oh. Wait, early explorers to EOS. So this is one of our satellites. I mean, it makes sense. It looks like ours. Consu. This one looks cold. Anomaly on sensors. Minus one seven six. Mild climate. Minus one seven six. I wouldn't call that mild by any exaggeration. Deploying probe. It's pretty Tracking fucking a cold. Deposit. Go ahead and get that beryllium. No other anomalies. Hele. This is kind of neat, actually. I think I'm coming around to this. I don't think I liked this cutscene originally, but come to think of it, like it almost takes the same amount of time in ME2 and 3 to move the Normandy from one ship one place to the other. I mean, I most people kind of prefer. Oh, is that volcanic formation? Seven eighty one. Surface temperature. Oh my god, nine atmospheres. My god. Methane in the atmosphere. Now this this is a uh, first I thought those were city lights, but no, this is this is just a fucked planet, that's for sure. My god. Oddly enough, I don't know if it's just because you can't see it as well, but it looks like the part facing the star is less volcanic than the side that isn't, but it's probably just the lighting messing with me a little bit. Interesting. Looks like another volcanic planet. Yeah, that's volcanic, all right. 198 Celsius, 23 atmospheres. My god. 23 atmospheres, that is significant. All right, well, I guess we'll check out Eos now, finally. The last place to check. It's interesting that you can't scan the suns. Or stars, rather. What are we working with here? Viability. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. 19, one, almost two atmospheres, which is a bit rough, but 19 degrees Celsius is not bad. Significant resources. Radiation contaminated storms. Signal detected, however, similar to the one on Habitat 7, so there may be another atmospheric controller here. Potentially. 
Um, no, actually, I don't. Uh, go back here, and I just want to leave. Nice. I really like this, the fact that you see the planets that you're nearby in the game now from the bridge. Um, I saw airlocks here. Oh, so I can not change my loadout from here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I just want to get rid of that tutorial. So, Avenger... Go ahead and unequip all weapons. Actually, I can't unequip all weapons. I want to... Pathfinder Pioneer. So I'm going to equip the Matok, and then I'm going to compare it to the Pioneer. More damage, more rate of fire, less accurate. Few details. I guess I'll give it a shot. See what it comes up to. Pistols. Pathfinder Ranger. Okay, so it appears like all of these weapons are some kind of variation on each other. It's fucking heavy, though, that's sure. Pathfinder Deep Impact. Heavy. Certainly very heavy. Minus 25% recharge speed. Can I mod these weapons to make them any lighter? Heavy magazine. And an AR stock. Oh, and it changes the way they look, too. Nice. Honestly, I, I would almost prefer just not. Oh, this is a submachine gun. Receiver. Oh, penetration. Absolutely. Just have the Omni Blade. So did it save? What kind of... So with this? Well, it's got a 600 rate of fire, but then again, this has a 450. How does this weapon do more damage? Okay, and then I got new armor as well. Oh my god. Minus 10 weapon weight. That just looks awful, though. Oh, so this changes everything, then. Consumables. I already have that much. Unknown. Squad. Select. Get Liam the fuck out of here. Select Korra. And select... Wait, how... Squad made one. How do I switch to squad mate 2? Oh, that's how I do it. Vetra. Girl power. Um, can I level Vetra? Oh, I can. Nice. What is she? Oh, she is a um, vanguard by the looks of it. I want to tank you up a little bit. And I'll put your last point into... Concussive shot. Nice. Okay. Um, what is this? An escape pod. Yikes. I don't want to really land on EOS yet because I want to talk with people now. Go ahead and archive that message. It's not showing up. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful. Now everybody to wants to actually talk, so take it off. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus Science team. Liaison. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. Fucking hell. 60 pages. That's... 
a lot of pages about dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than me. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. 60, some, 60 page Helios. summary of dirt. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We are the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? No. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. Well, I'm not going to romance it. Why should that be funny? You seem capable. Oh, I'm flattered, but no. I have no combat experience. I'd shoot you in the back. On accident, of course. Not intentionally. Of yeah, course. <laughs> anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Later. Okay. Kalo? How you doing, bud? Kalo? Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why? Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I don't out. know why the rest wouldn't have come, to be honest. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. What? Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. I never knew that Slarians had particularly photographic memories. I know Trell do. Trell remember everything. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Cheer up, Callo. We'll always have directors. That's not hand. encouraging. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find yeah. others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Saying, yeah, there's other Salarians, like, uh, like Director Tan is really... really orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. It can't be worse than the Nexus. Yeah, comparing Kalo to Tan is a disrespect to Kala, that's for sure. Hey, can you drop by the bio lab? Anything for you, Cora. How's it hanging? Nice place you found. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something you seem about. agitated. <sighs> maybe. Whoa. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. Don't, I don't seem good. Lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. A huntress? Huntress. You served with Azari. Another term for an Azari commando. I was one before the initiative. You served with Azari commandos? Sick, though. Like losing the old man. What the fuck? How does a human soldier get to serve with Azari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. Did you know him? You were his second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. I know it's not the same. But I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. Well, hope. I prepped for years as your father's second. 
Then he chooses this you. This could be a problem, Cora. An untrained pathfinder and all this mess to fix. The hell was he thinking? Problem. I don't want to. What the I fuck? I don't want to Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side. I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. It's hard. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Oh. Look, Blushing there's it. still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. God, I really hope there's not a point where the game's... Because everybody's bringing up the missing Ark, right? I really hope there's not a point where it's like, we've heard from multiple Arks, but we only have time to save one of them. Because, man, I will crack under that situation. My God. I don't know who I would want to bring up first. Because... We could use the Turians' military expertise and their hand in the use. The Zari live for very long periods of time. They've got some experience we could probably almost definitely use. And then the Salarian, we could use their technical expertise. It would fucking kill me. Having to pick who we would find, who we would be able to help at the expense of the others, potentially. Like, I legitimately would have no idea how to choose who. I would, I would freak out. I'm in the armory. Okay, Vetra, I will see you there in a second. There's other people I wanted to meet first. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Yeah, I am. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? This is... Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship? I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as... Stuck on the... Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. I doubt you were the only one. Yeah. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. Regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. And I got here, and oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. You could up. romance Gil? Oh my god. You mean how jazzed you were that a path... Man, you and me are going to get along just Mr. fine, Mr. Gil. Potato, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? You got it, man. Deal. You and I are going to get along just fine. All right. Vetra said she's down here in the armory, which I presumed was right here. Yeah. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there. Let me say hi. Fine, Sid. but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Younger sister. Hope I'm not interrupting something important. Not at all. We were just finishing up. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. You're already coming along with me on the first mission. On the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. I mean, I do like it, but I'm already locked in. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Is that cereal on her shelf? Hold the phone. 
Oh, there we go. There's the Blastos. Along with a can just labeled canned fish. Looks like ramen noodles as well. You got your own stack of food here, don't you? You've already made yourself at home. Oh my god, there's a shit ton of Blastos. Man, I was too distracted by the one or two boxes up here. She has a whole fucking crate of Blastos back here. You've been holding out on us, Vetra. My god. I think Vetra is probably going to be my second playthrough, uh, in terms of doing romances. Kind of already locked myself onto core for this first one. Dr. Lexi, how you doing? You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. We know this. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. I know you now, will. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. Being nervous means you understand what's at stake. That's the problem. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. It's easy for I you to say. This is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Done. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... What? Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but what? I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Anatomist? Physician? That's quite the resume. I'm also a licensed psychologist. 275 years has given well, you're a bit plenty older than Sony then. Out. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Nothing to worry about, Dr. Tapero. I'm already liking this new crew. It's pieces. No entry. Thought we were taking turns. Oh. Gotcha covered Kylo. There's soup in the galley. A fruit cocktail. Huh. So they're getting along. Oh, we didn't actually check. I wonder if Liam is back where that couch is. I bet this is probably what he's saying. Yeah, there you are. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni Blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? What? Um. I don't know which one is more accurate. Where the hell did you get this Someone shit? Brought this couch? To Andromeda? It was new when we left. Been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after oh, I guess. years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about heavy, uh, heavy urban search terrain one. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. So, like, geological disasters? One, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder... Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? Hmm. That blunt. Yikes. When I started with the Alliance, it was about adventure. But with my dad's troubles, staying wasn't going to work. I needed something new. But if I wanted to get away, it had to be this far. Gotcha. Clean slate. Classic. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? 
I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. Mm. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. And why did you come? Initiative and Tiven. And I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. We can't go back. But we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. We keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Used to it. I may not like you as a crew member because you get yourself killed all the damn time. But I may end up liking you more than a per as a person, that's for sure. Can't be any worse than Jacob. I learned to get along with Jacob, at least. It's the very least I could afford him. Nobody's in the bathroom. I would certainly hope so unless I just, like, run in. Yo, anybody in here? Yeah. There's a fucking gun on the table. Jesus Christ, guys. Nothing new in my room? No new emails? Actually, we checked the email terminal up there, didn't we? Alright, well, I guess that finishes our tour of the Tempest. Uh, how long have I been going? Two and a half hours. Seems about right. Um, you know what? I don't want to start EOS just yet. I'm going to take a bit of a break because, like I said, we're going for two and a half hours. Uh, when we come back, we'll set foot on our first supposedly habitable world. But until then, see you guys next time.